At 530, the father of a little boy who died after being put in scalding hot water now faces charges. Good evening, everyone. That father is being indicted by a Warren County grand jury now for his alleged role in the death of his son. Nine on your side's Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren is live with the 911 call tonight. That will be a key piece of evidence in this case. Jay? Well, Prosecutor David Fornshell says that four-year-old Austin Cooper would have lived if he had just received some IV fluids and that Cooper's father, Robert Ritchie, uh, should have checked on him but did not. This is the booking photo of Robert Ritchie, now charged by a Warren County grand jury for not doing anything to save his son. And this was the 911 call that Ritchie made the morning he found his son, Austin, dead. He got into a hot bath last night with my wife and she thought she'd be okay. Do you know if you want to attempt CPR or do you think it's too late? Yeah, he's stiff as a board. <laughs> It was March that prosecutors say Anna Ritchie held Austin Cooper in a tub of scalding hot water for 25 minutes as punishment for not wanting to take a bath and then putting him to bed as his skin peeled and his feet bled. She will stand trial for murder. Prosecutor David Fornshell says that before Ritchie got home, she told him what had happened. He was aware that the child had been burned, had been scalded. He was aware that there was blistering as a result of the scalding. He was aware that there had been some level of bleeding as a result of the scalding, but never went to check on the child to determine the extent of the injuries. Fornshell says that Cooper would more than likely be alive if his father had acted. Based on the burn experts that we have consulted with, had he checked on that child and obtained medical treatment for that child, which is simply IV fluid, there would have been a 95 to 99 percent chance of full recovery by the child. Now, Richie is being represented by the Shavoti law firm, and they said today that their client is presumed innocent and should be tre treated that way, and they trust that justice will prevail. Richie will be arraigned on Wednesday. Jay Warren, nine on your side, Lebanon. Richie's wife and stepmother of Austin Cooper is already in jail. Anna Ritchie is pleading not guilty in this case. She faces two counts of murder, felonious assault, involuntary manslaughter, and child endangering. Anna Ritchie's trial is expected to begin in late September.